So it has been on my mind that the Bamboo H2D with the two side-by-side -side extruders, they should actually be making less waste than some of the other single extruder ones. A lot less waste. What got me here to this video though was I saw online where there was a guy who claimed that he had no waste and no prime tower if he was just using two colors, one on each of the extruders of the H2D. I accept that challenge. What challenge? I've always wondered if we can't do more about the waste and I'm guessing you've probably at least occasionally wondered that as well. What a waste. A while back you may remember I did a video about bamboo waste and what I got straight from bamboo then is that the initial priming waste that gets extruded, well that's basically hardwired into the hardware and firmware. You can't stop it and believe me I tried. I tried even harder on these tests. Well speaking of which, Here's what I did. I used a 20 millimeter cube that I made with a primitive and came up with four tests to check what I think are all versions of waste. Now the first test is the obligatory standard settings and then I did one with no waste with a prime tower and then I did one with a prime tower with waste and then no waste and no prime tower. I decided to run these tests first on a three color print using three of those same 20 millimeter cubes just rotated different directions for the colors. I did that just to kind of get the bad numbers out of the way. And then I ran them with just two colors, one in each extruder. Before I start though about stopping the purge waste or poop, originally in my previous video I used the flushing volume modifiers and set everything to zero and after finding out it's still going to waste filament for every color change, I looked for alternatives for these tests. Now the only thing I could really find was a G-code modifier and I was more than a little nervous to try it out, but I checked and turns out it's okay and well, you can use G-code along with flushing volume at zero to completely, almost, turn off waste there's still that hard-baked purge waste built in to give you the best possible print, even if you don't want it. And regardless though, I used it in every single test just to make sure the ones that would have no waste. And if you're interested in trying it out, I'll put a link to the G-code modification in the description. Now I'm just gonna say right up front, I was alternatively surprised and not surprised by some of these results. And of course, this is just my personal testing, so don't take it as absolute proof of anything, but I do think I got it mostly right. Getting started, I'm embarrassed to say that the three color test was flat out painful for me, especially the standard settings one. Three and a half hours of printing for a 20 millimeter cube and all that waste. Now, of course, the print turned out perfect. No stringing, no problems, just over 10 times wasted filament versus the model though, not good. Still on the three colors for test two, I turned off the prime tower and it did help a little bit, not much, but it made the print look really bad. Continuing to test three, I turned off the purge and still got the prime tower and that's when things got weird. We're down from a total of 62 grams to 16 grams and the quality's even a good bit better than the one with no prime tower and purge. Problem is, there's still all that waste. Now this is way more than just some color purging, but at least it's down a lot from the previous two tests. Then came test four. I turned off both the prime tower, purging, using the G-code, everything, and the slicer shows the overall total is the same as the model, 5.3 grams, except where is all that waste coming from? Regardless of all the craziness with three colors, I persevered and got to the test behind it, this whole thing, two color printing. And I should point out that the cube is 0.5 grams lighter than the three color test, and I guess that's because of the color density and using three different colors rotated inside, I don't know, that's, I'm just assuming, probably. 
Test one, standard settings, two colors, is more in line with what I'd like to see. It's a perfect looking print, 4.8 grams for the model, and the tower waist is at 7.01 grams. And then there's poop. Granted, it's just six small pieces, barely enough to register one gram on my scale, but according to that other video I saw, there shouldn't be any waste. So there is, and once again, why? Test 2 turned off the prime tower, and that did affect the quality a bit, and it saved the 7 grams of wasted prime tower, but there's 5 pieces of poop, and that totals a gram. I think I'm starting to see a pattern here. Test number 3, we have purge turned off, and we only wasted 7 grams on the prime tower, and that gave a much better print, if not perfect. And yes, there's five pieces of poop, one gram of waste. Now test four had everything turned off and is basically test two again. Quality's pretty much identical to test two, and there's still the same five pieces and one gram of waste. Knowing that Bamboo's not gonna let you turn off purge waste completely, I have to say I'm fairly accepting of one gram of waste, especially when the prints turn out looking really good, at least for me, on all four tests. Well, there you go. That's my test, and it showed some interesting results. You've probably already made up your mind on this, but what are your thoughts? Let us all know in the comments, and please like and subscribe so you can stay up to date here, and we can all continue to tinker, test, and try things out as we learn, create, and amaze.